Hi, I'm Jeff Weissoff, the Principal Associate Director for the National Ignition Facility and Photon Science Directorate at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. I'm excited that the laboratory's laser program is celebrating its 50th anniversary this month. Not long after the first demonstration of a laser in 1960, a group of pioneering LLNL scientists hypothesized that lasers could be used to induce fusion ignition in a laboratory setting. This started us on a path to lead the world in the development of large fusion lasers and associated technologies. On July 10, 1972, LLNL's experimental laser programs were consolidated into a single division known as Y Division. From this beginning, came a series of increasingly more complex and energetic laser systems that enabled cutting edge research in inertial confinement fusion, material properties under extreme conditions, and high energy density science, all of which today support NNSA's stockpile stewardship program. With partners across the US and around the world, we have come so far in 50 years, and yet there's so much more to discover. Standing here inside the National Ignition Facility, we are truly on the threshold of the future.